There you see the Notre Dame starting lineup being introduced. Uh, we'll go through those guys real quick. Number three, Pat Beeble is a 6'3 junior. Number 20, Kevin Rotherham is a 6'2 senior. Number 30, Elliot Clement is a 6'1 senior. Number 33, David Miller is a 6'4 junior. And rounding out the starting five is number 44, Max McHugh, a 6'5 junior. For the Red Wings, they'll be starting number three, Kyle Reuter. He's a 6'3 senior. Number 11, Jake Biederwolf. There you see him. He's a 5'10 sophomore. Number 15, Tyson Pitch is a 6'0 senior. Number 21, Nick Wilson is a 6'4 senior. And rounding out the starting five is Chris Hemsing. He's a 5'11 junior. Pardon me, 5'11 sophomore. Uh, Notre Dame's going to have a height advantage for sure with uh, Hemsing and uh, Biederwolf out on the floor for... Uh, Sheboygan South, and there you see uh, Tim Schultz talking to his team right before the uh, tip-off for tonight's ball game. Notre Dame comes in with a record of five and three in conference, eight and five overall. Uh, Sheboygan South four and four, six and seven overall. Our officials today are uh, Bob Delzer from Freedom. There you see Casey Zakowski the head coach for uh, Green Bay Notre Dame, longtime coach at Southwest too. Bob Delzer from Freedom will be tossing it up and with his back to you by the scorer's table is Pat Pankratz. Uh, Pat is from Manitowoc and uh, is a 71 grad. Had a little talk with him before the game. He's a nice guy. These are two officials, by the way, Chris, haven't worked together. So it'll be interesting to see how that uh, plays out. Notre Dame in a zone. Shot is no good. Getting the offensive putback basket is Kyle Reuter. Oh, sure, the guy we forgot in the opening and gets the uh, first bucket of the ball game, Marty. Well, I think we we're used to seeing him come off the bench, and uh, that's yep. another little sneaker that they pulled on us. He's in the starting lineup. Well, he's been in and out of the starting lineup this year, and I thought he played a big, big, huge game against uh, North. South in a man-to-man -man defense. Beeble on top. Pretty typical Notre Dame. They're going to run a motion and wait for the defense to break down is what they like to do. As we said, watch number 44. Kid can shoot it. Wilson will have his hands full uh, guarding uh, Max McHugh. Yeah, inside and outside. McHugh. Rotherham, a good pump fake. Shot rolls off. And the ball wow. just fell into the hands of David Miller. And then Nick Wilson picks up the foul. Attempting to make the block. Oh, they're going to get Reuter down low, though, Marty. Right, Kyle Reuter picking up the foul. Because I'll tell you what, Nick Wilson sent that one. They're going to get a shot of uh, David Mueller. Sent that one back towards the Notre Dame bench. Next Saturday, north south. That'll be a biggie. We had a doubleheader uh, next week, Chris. We're out at Lakeland College on uh, Wednesday. They're going to host Concordia of Illinois. And then, of course, the uh, big night here. North-South will be doing both games, girls and boys. Tyson pitch from outside the line, rims off. Wilson had the offensive putback, but he bumped into Hemsing and uh, couldn't get a good shot off. Be live next uh, yeah. week, as two. We've mentioned that a couple times tonight. Mueller. Had his ball tipped, but uh, Rotherham able to gather it back. McHugh, no good. Hemsing with the board and the push. Good pass. Yeah. Sweet. And you're going to get a foul. No shot. Foul's going to go on McHugh, and uh, that's a big one when you get one on him early. Not even two minutes into the game. Well, we've seen Chris play a couple times. Chris Hemsing does a lot of little things. Seems to always get a clutch basket and uh, There's another assist. shot of Casey Zakowski. Big assist and uh, just, just like his brothers have played here. Interesting matchup there. Of course, they are in a zone. McHugh had a uh, pitch in the corner. Got to look for ball reversal here or swings. See Beaterwolf trying to get to the short corner, but they just couldn't get it to him. 
A little more movement, maybe get uh, Tyson away from where McHugh is so he can shoot over somebody. It'd be pretty hard to shoot over uh, Max McHugh. Got about a five inch height advantage. Peter Wolf with a quick release and he nails a three. He does have a quick release, Marty. That's, I think, one of the things, you know, he's not a big tall player, which really helps his shots. It's because he catches and fires right away. Doesn't give the defense enough chance to uh, recover on his just his 5'10 frame. Wilson playing a side post defense when he's down deep. Beeble had the ball tipped out of bounds by uh, Jake Peterwolf, so Notre Dame will keep it. Andy Lancer into the game. Andy will, uh, well Andy's uh, in a zone right now it looks like, or is he playing man to man? Looked like Reuter was on uh, Whoa. the queue. Oh, it looked like it went right out of uh, the hands of a Notre Dame player, but uh, saying Saul tipped it. I already had the T marked up for turnover. Rotherham going baseline, dishes it off. Nice easy basket for Elliot Clement. North on top, five to, pardon me, south on top, five to three. It's one thing Kevin Rotherham does do is he drives to the basket a lot. Sometimes you'll get him all caught up in the air or doesn't exactly know where, what to do, but that time he made a nice pass. Little inside out action. Nice pass by Andy Lancer to uh, Kyle Reuter, who nails a three pointer. Notre Dame had all sorts of trouble with the pressure by uh, Sheboygan North. So let's see if South studied some film and uh, does the same to their guard. Q looking, looking, looking. Had the shot blocked, but uh, we're going to get a foul. That's going to go on uh, Kyle Reuter, his second. And the second team foul. Q will be at the line, shooting a pair. TJ Crowns. Jake Schwartz in the game. Jake was starting earlier in the year, but I think you alluded to it in the opening, Chris, that he was injured for a while, and uh, you know he may not be 100% yet. Max McHugh showing a very soft touch as he puts in a couple of free throws. South on top, 8-5. to five. Biederwolf, catch and shoot, and rims it in. Good shot. Another nice play by South on the inside out action, Chris. Andy Lancer is going to pick up the foul. Now, you know, we don't like to have a lot of fouls, of course, but it's nice to have depth on the inside. So you keep rotating your guys in, but. Two completely different attacks here. Our name is trying to get to the glass and get to the foul line. South relying on their three point shooting. Three-point shooting has been good so far. Peter Wolf with two and Reuter with one. Tyson Pitch missed, missed the earlier three-pointer. I think the South might be three for four so far. The Q is four for four on free throws. It's 11 to seven South on top. Well, that little person out there, number 31, is just a freshman. That's uh, Kevin McKenzie. All five foot three of them. Pretty tough to be a freshman with that kind of size playing at the varsity level. There he is. Got his no good by pitch, but Schwartz with the rebound put back, and he got fouled. Take Jake him. Schwartz. This didn't take him too long to get a uh, rebound. And I guess we'll give him the basket too. And you know who the foul is on? Max McHugh, his second. That helps if you are a white. If you're a South fan. Yeah, white jersey fan tonight. Coming in for uh, McHugh is uh, Matt Meyer, number 15. Wow, with 3.30 left. In the first quarter. Yep. 
They're down by seven, and one of their best players is now in foul trouble. Ooh. Here comes that pressure. Turn up the wick. The South drop back into a man-to-man. -man. Rotherham splitting the defense. And then committing the foul was uh, TJ Crowns to prevent the easy basket. Notre Dame has two personal fouls, and they're both on McHugh. South has four. They're attacking the, you know, and getting in the lane and getting shorter shots. There's no question about that. South's already put up uh, four three-pointers. Helps that they've made three of them. Notre Dame able to stay with South. They've made so far six out of seven free throws. Wow. It's one basket. Seven out of eight free throws. It's 14 to nine with uh, 310 remaining. Well, Jake Schwartz going to get a shot if you're patient. Hemsing, no good. Tyson Pitch got the rebound. Wilson got it in. Nick Wilson with a nice spin move. That short shot over the front of the rim. Sixteen to nine, South on top. Nice cutting shot for Matt Meyer and a land. Makes it 16-11. Meyer with a basket, his first. Pitch open for just a second. Can't get it. Schwartz rebound. Wow. Put back. Put it in. South dominating the offensive boards early on. We've got two minutes left in the quarter. It's 18-11. Uh, to 11. South on top. Oh. That's a good call. Uh-oh. Jake yeah. Schwartz is a little hobbled there with that sore foot. His first foul. 15 foul on South. What? At the rate that South is falling, they're going to be in the bonus in the first quarter. Well, he looks big in your picture. Yeah, but he's not. Kevin McKenzie, 5'3", freshman. He zips those passes, though, Chris. Well, Jake Peterwolf was just a freshman last year to lighten up Manitowoc. But uh, he has had about six more inches on him. And he looks, he's big, he was bigger, too. Yep. Rotherham. Whoa. Is that a legal move? Looked like a travel. Today it is. Like I said, he likes to get into the paint, drive to the basket. Sometimes he gets a little bit out of control. That time he got away with it. Wilson tries to dump it into Schwartz. He does, but Schwartz can't get it in. Notre Dame with the rebound. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Good back cut by Rotherham. He's open from 12 and nails it. Wow. He has six points in the quarter. Well, you know with McHugh on the bench, that's where they're going to go. 18 to 15. Be interesting to see if South tries to take it down for one. Hempsing cutting through, had a nice shot, but couldn't get it to go. Rebound to David Mueller. There he goes again. Nice pass out is no good, but Rotherham gets it back and puts it in. Kevin Rotherham with a big quarter, Chris. He has eight points. Good back cut by Hempsing. He lays it off the glass and in. Nobody's held it for a while, have they? 20 to 17. 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. Notre Dame's a lot closer than uh, I would have thought they were. Here he goes. He's going to try to get in there. Kicks it out. Bango and a foul. Matt Meyer. Oh, boy. From Rotherham, and that ties it up. And then a foul on Schwartz. Never foul a jump shooter. Jake Schwartz, his second personal. 
Zach Duquette coming in. Meyer off the bench for uh, McHugh has picked up the pace. Picked the scoring up just like uh, McHugh might have done. At the end of one quarter of play, we're all knotted at 20 apiece. We'll be right back. Diabetes is a killer. After I was diagnosed, I didn't feel sick, so I didn't listen to my doctor. Then it struck. I had a heart attack, then a stroke and I was only 49. People with diabetes are two to four times more likely to suffer a stroke than people without diabetes. And many who survive are severely disabled. Don't let diabetes destroy your life. Learn how to reduce your risk of stroke. Call for your free diabetes survival guide. Back at the Acuity Fieldhouse at South High School where uh, Notre Dame made a bit of a run. In the end, South led the entire quarter uh, then they got one of their best players, Max McHugh, in foul trouble. He had to leave with about three minutes remaining in the quarter. His replacement, Matt Meyer, came in and hit a two-point basket, a three-point basket, and uh, really added to the cause for Notre Dame to keep them right in the ball game. They never skipped a beat with him out on the floor and McHugh on the bench. Notre Dame will have the first possession. There you see him, Meyer with the ball. Beeble back in. McHugh back in the game too, Chris. Wow. Well, and Schwartz got two fouls for uh, South. There's a travel. Matt Meyer a little out of control when he was cut off from the baseline. He didn't have his feet underneath him very well and couldn't stop. That's their first uh, turnover, Marty. That is really good. No, no turnovers in the first quarter for Notre Dame. And South. I have neither one with a turnover. I must have missed one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember any. They were always getting shots. That's the thing. Pitch well, backs it out. Notre Dame continues in his own defense. I'll tell you, South had eight more shot attempts than... Uh, Notre Dame, but again, Notre Dame was fouled a lot on their shot attempts, so right. those don't count as. Well, the other thing is uh, Salt dominated on the uh, offensive board. Pitch finally hits a nail, hits a three-pointer, and that's a big one. Gives South an early lead here in the second quarter. He struggled in the first quarter from three-point land, missed, I think, two or three shots, and had some great looks. So nice to get him off the schneid. Inside to McHugh, pump fake. Shot, no good. South comes away with it. Way to battle inside. Nick Wilson. Pitch on an inside feed, inside outside. Good defense played by number 24, Trent Vanden Heuvel. And there's a turnover. Nick Wilson throwing it away. Beeble outside the line. Pops in a long three-pointer. 23 oh. to 23. It took them uh, seven minutes and 59 seconds to shoot their first one. And now it, uh, they get another one. They've got them both in. Two for two. Meyer hit the first right at the end of the first quarter. A fall underneath. Bad foul if you're Notre Dame. Ball on Matt Meyer, his first. Good ball reversal that time by the Red Wings. They found pitch wide open on the opposite side of the floor. And I think that would have counted if it went in, plus the you know right. bas basket, basket plus the foul. I'm sorry. I want to be stuck in that corner down there. Ooh. Lancer. Good ball reversal. Beaterwolf's shot is off. 
Rotheram with a nice rebound. And McKenzie back in the game. I agree with you. Good ball reversal. Had the open look. Just missed it. The cue inside. Basket is good and he's fouled. You know, we talked about ball reversal for the Red Wings. There was a good job of ball reversal by the Tritons. First lead of the game for Notre Dame. Yes, it is. They had a chance to take the lead, but the Meyer missed the free throw. Seems like South had this one uh, cooking in the first quarter. In the last two minutes, things kind of fell apart. First uh, missed free throw by uh, Max McHugh. Andy Lancer from 10. Put her down. Nice shot, Andy. All tied up, 25 apiece. Rolling down to five minutes left in the first half. Meyer. Lancer is going to pick up the foul. They continue to get deep on dry penetration and South continues to foul. They've got to do a much better job of sliding those feet over, moving over. Because right now Notre Dame is taking advantage of that situation. Just shooting a lot of free throws, Marty. With this next free throw, that'll be 12 in the first half to South's one. Meyer has missed three in a row, Chris. Wilson with three boards now. Lancer, a fadeaway. Missed everything. See, now if I was uh, Notre Dame, I'd maybe get the cue out of the game here. Wasn't it just 25-23? And a Lancer at that two. Lancer at the two to tie it. Yep. And then Meyer had a couple of free throws, but uh, we know McHugh, he can... you got to get on him out there. You can't let him sit outside the line. We talked about that in the opening. He can shoot that. 28-25, Notre Dame. Hempsing couldn't get it in. Beeble with the rebound. Rotherham going hard to the hoop. And he picks up the foul. And that's going to go on Wilson. And for uh, Nick, that'll be his second. Lancer two, Wilson two, Schwartz two. And you called it right at the beginning. They're just taking it to the hoop every time, every opportunity and drawing fouls. Rotherham probably would have done the right thing there and just put the ball in and take those two points. But if he can make both free throws, that'll uh, eliminate that uh, He had eight points in the first quarter. He has one so far in the second. He leads all scorers with nine. Now with 10. And Notre Dame leads it 30 to 25. Rommel in the game, number 25 for South. Pitch also back in. Oh, Notre Dame extending that zone way out there for a little bit. Now they drop back some. And Coach Schultz thinks they're having trouble too, so there he calls a timeout. It's a full timeout with 319 remaining in the first half. Notre Dame on top, 30-25. to 25. That was the first time you brushed your teeth. And I brush twice a day, every day. Oh, here's that nice dentist, Dr. Benchley. Yep, he showed me how to floss. Why are your teeth blue? I use my mouth guard whenever I play sports to protect my smile. And visit the dentist regularly. Remember, brush twice a day and floss once a day. Parents, there's something you can do to protect your kids from drugs and alcohol. 
Combine ground beef with egg, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and spices. Bake in an oven-safe pan at 350 for 50 minutes. Serve hot. This is Jamie Lee Curtis. Children who eat dinner with their families are less likely to smoke, drink, or use drugs. Mm. So, have dinner together every day. Delicious. A message from CASA, the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University. Uh, Manitowoc with 35 seconds left in the second quarter. It's Manitowoc 40, Sheboygan North 29. So the conference leaders are getting beat up there. Dan Murray in your picture right there. Former uh, really good South High player. Good ball rotation. Pitch open from outside the line. Can't get it in. Lancer with the rebound. Goes hard to the hoop. But foul called on the way to the hoop. It'll be on Notre Dame. Foul goes on David Mueller. Well, right now, Notre Dame is shooting 75% from the floor and hitting all their free throws. Gonna have to hit some of those to, to make this stuff go. Nice pass from Tyson Pitch to Jake Biederwolf, and he hits the three, his third three-pointer of the night. He has nine points in the first half. McKenzie off of his foot. It looked like it went off of uh, looked like it went off of Kevin McKenzie's foot, but the referees didn't see it that way. We could maybe show him a replay up here if they wanted to take the time. Well, he's trying to explain to Coach Schultz. I don't know unless the only comedy was said. I should have called a foul on your guy. Rotherham, ten footer is no good. Another one. Rebound, putback is good by Elliot Clement, and he's fouled. Ball goes on Jake Peterwolf. That's the 10th team foul. And uh, what number of free throw is this? Bob Delzer is uh, pointing his finger at Tim Schultz and uh, telling him he better be careful, coach. It's a good thing they missed some of them. Oh, off of Andy Lancer's fingers and out of bounds. Notre Dame will get it back. You know, it's just the little things, Chris. South was dominating on the offensive board in the first quarter. Now Notre Dame, you know, they get one here, one there, and all of a sudden there's a foul on a putback and a basket made. And boy, oh boy. 32-28. Well, South a, living and dying by the three-point basket. Yeah, they only have eight points in the quarter. Beeble. Shot rims out. Zach Duquette with the rebound. Well, Rommel was open for a second, but uh, good thing Jake is Peterwolf didn't see him right away. Yeah, good thing is North South's only down by four. Make it two. Andy Lancer with a nice shot in the lane. Put it up and in. For as much as things are struggling, they're only down by two. There's that spin. Should have been a travel. Rotherham shot is no good. Tyson pitch has it. But uh, Notre Dame gets back pretty good on defense, Chris. Stop the break. Inside out action again. Pitch up. No good. Rebound goes to uh, Mueller. 32-30. Notre Dame up two. I'll tell you this. South's got plenty of shots. The old left-hander McKenzie can't get it in. Well, there is something to like about that kid. He's left-handed. And he's quick. Got to shoot it. Inside out. Come on, Tyson. Pop. Pops it in. Just like that, South's back ahead. 33-32. Six three-point baskets here in the first half for the Red Wings. Beeble looked at it, but then didn't shoot it. Under a minute, Marty. McHugh not in the ball game. And, uh, Notre Dame doing pretty good. And not a good play there by uh, Kevin McKenzie. Turnover number two. Hamsing oh. and TJ Crowns back in the ball game. I just have three in the whole game. Whew. 
by both teams together? Yep. Thanks. Well, you shouldn't really turn the ball over too often against the zone. Want a bet? <laughs> and Notre Dame is not turning it over. They're getting 20 seconds. Fouls. South on top, 33-32. They're looking to shoot one to end the half. Down to 10. Emsing backs it out. Oh! Beeble on a double dribble. Good call. So two turnovers. 2.9 seconds remaining. Do you get those? Right South on the turnover and Notre Dame on the turnover on the double dribble. Your best 2.9 second play. Give it to Crowns. Long shot at the buzzer is off the glass by Hemsing and no good. And we're at halftime where Sheboygan South leads Notre Dame 33-32. to Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you want to get ahead. No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. Get a balance. Get a balance. Oh, no, you uh, you stick it, it under the mattress. <laughs> you want Getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. We all want the same there are only two or six in the And Rotary quarter. Clubs are making it happen. <laughs> Through international scholarships for young people to promote peace and understanding around the world. Rotary. Humanity in motion. Nuclear weapons material stored in laboratories and other facilities. Some protected by just a chain link fence. Terrorists are trying to steal these materials to make a nuclear bomb and attack us here. We need to stop them at the source by locking down the materials. There is something you can do to protect America. Visit saferworld.org. Be part of stopping a catastrophe before it happens. What do triglycerides or trigs have to do to get noticed? Normal triglycerides are below 150. High triglycerides increase your risk of heart disease. And if you're a woman, that risk goes up even more. After standing in the shadows of good and bad cholesterol, triglyceride, also known as the forgotten fat, is ready to share the spotlight and the attention. Remember to ask your doctor about the good, the bad, and the forgotten fat. And remember, normal triglycerides are under 150. This message brought to you by Sister to Sister, working together for healthy hearts.
is a cat. This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. The most dangerous thing our kids have to deal with today isn't violence. It isn't drugs. It's unhealthy food. Too many of our kids are overweight. They're headed for diabetes, heart problems, or worse. They need to eat healthy things like vegetables, fruits, high-fiber vegetarian foods. As our kids grow, the right foods can help protect them from obesity, heart problems, diabetes, and even cancer. To find out more, call for a free booklet or visit our website, kidsgethealthy.org. the cheerleader uh, dance teams they'll be in uh, competition this weekend let's go through the first half scoring first for Notre Dame they were led by Kevin Rotherham with 10 points following him very closely was Max McHugh with nine uh, McHugh picked up two early fouls in the first quarter and ended the half with only two chipping in with five was Matt Meyer and then with four Elliot Clement with three Pat Beeble and David Mueller had one point, and that was their 32. For the Red Wings, they were led by Jake Biederwolf. He hit on three three-point baskets. He had nine. Tyson Pitch had six. Kyle Reuter, five. Nick Wilson and Chris Emsing each had two. Jake Swartz had five points. And Andy Lancer, rounding out the scoring, had four. And we're at halftime. South on top, 33-32. to 32. And uh, what's been a very entertaining first half uh, I'll tell you, South came out gangbusters, uh, hitting on the offensive boards, but uh, Notre Dame hung in there and wound up coming back and actually having a five-point lead at 30-25, uh, to 25, but South rebounded from that and uh, ended up the half with the lead. With that, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll have the start of the second half. You were simply struggling to be a dad. The next, you're coping with a diagnosis of childhood cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. If you give me a fish... If you give someone a fish... You feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. 
Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. sick again. You were always sick, too. Not like him. You don't remember. He keeps getting infections. He takes after you. If your child is repeatedly sick, it may be PI, primary immunodeficiency disease, a defect of the immune system. The only way to know is by testing. Mom, this isn't normal. It's normal. It's not normal. Talk to us about PI. Action earlier tonight in the JV game. Sheboygan South beat Notre Dame 57-42. to Congratulations go out to uh, Mike Vorpal and Andy Kautzer. In the freshman red game, Sheboygan South won by one. In the white freshman game, they lost by about uh, 14 or 15 points. Uh, South needs a win here to uh, go three games to one in, uh, against Notre Dame this evening. Towards the end of the uh, third quarter, and Manitowoc still leads north. I believe it's 66 or 67 to 59. So uh, that'll be an impact. See if North can make a rally in the fourth quarter. Here, a bunch of uh, three-point shooting, that's for sure. Six for 12 for South, and three for three for Notre Dame. Inside feed to Hemsing, but his shot hit the bottom of the rim. Uh, pardon me, the bottom of the backboard, and Man uh, Notre Dame comes away with it. A lot of free throws shot in that first half for Notre Dame. They were six for, pardon me, seven for nine in the first quarter. McHugh operating and scoring. But they were seven for nine in the first quarter, but in the second quarter, only two for six. They finished a half nine for 15. South was one for one in the first quarter, none for none in the second quarter, only one free throw in the whole first half. And uh, took us 26 seconds. And they're going to be attempting another free throw, Notre Dame is. Uh, McHugh hit four in a row in the first quarter, missed his only free throw in the second quarter. Now he uh, makes another free throw, and Notre Dame is up 35 33. Hempsing got it. Uh, I guess it was a two pointer. Looked like he was outside the line, but uh, foot must have been touching. It's 35 all. McHugh leaning in. His shot is blocked out of bounds. <laughs> he wanted a foul. I don't blame him. He made a nice move. Nick Wilson on a good block. Knocked it out of bounds. Emsley was just one for seven before he got that one. And there's Kyle Reuter who didn't play at all in the second quarter. Gets his third foul now. Early. Fouls number three. Kyle Reuter. Third person. 7.06. Remaining in the third quarter, only 54 seconds in. South already has two fouls. Casey Zakowski giving instructions to his team. Wilson and Reuter check out. Lancer and Schwartz come in. I was down on the floor. I saw Jake Schwartz getting uh, more tape. Got a little more tighter. Yeah. So he can finish off the last uh, 16 minutes here. McHugh had the ball tipped off his leg. Nice defensive play by Tyson Pitch. Running a little different offense this uh, half, Chris, yep. with that uh, four high. Yep. And it definitely looks like they want to get the ball to McHugh and let him operate. Notre Dame continues in the zone. Had pretty good success with it. Schwartz. Bricks it. Lancer. Put back. No good. Schwartz again, pump fake, got it. That's the kind of domination they showed in the first quarter, Chris, on the offensive rebounds. Jake trying to make the steal. Offensive foul, not called on Mueller. And he gets a shot and the basket. Rare jump shot for somebody besides Rotherham or Meyer. Most of their work has been in the paint, as they say. 
37-37. Pitch backs it out. Oh, little inside out. Beeble, I think, got a piece of that Beater Wolf shot and blocked it. I think you're right, Marty. South doing a good job of getting back, preventing the fast break. McHugh down low, had an opening, but Rotherham didn't give it to him. Back cut, Rotherham on a nice stop and pop and put it in. He's four for seven tonight. 12 points in the game. And Notre Dame leads it by two. Hempsing, nice bounce pass inside to Jake Schwartz who puts it in. He has nine points. Four of six on the floor for him. Stay down, Andy. Don't let him get around you. Three rebounds, though, for Schwartz. Notre Dame's not taking a lot of shots. They were 10 for 18 at the break. Little back cut by Beeble. He puts it up and in. Not good Beeble. defense there. They get some help on those back screens. Now they're four for four in this quarter. Hempsing shot no good. Andy Lancer doing a good job of getting the offensive rebound. Makes his move in the lane. Can't get it, but he's fouled. And Mueller is going to pick it up. Number 33. Fouls at number 33, David Mueller. Second personal to the line. Number 53. Well, Len. South is going to wind up having three free throws all of a sudden. They had two so far in the whole game. Lancer's going to the line to shoot a pair. There you get a good shot of Andy. Big guy. Yep. Very nice, very nice athletic career for him here at South High. Matt Mertz in the lineup now for South, number 35. And he's a good looking young guy. Puts in the second free throw. Notre Dame on top, 41 to 40. A little diamond type of a. Press, but uh, Notre Dame took care of that pretty easily. Back cut, Rotherham. And he draws the foul. Really shouldn't guard those guys so high. Remember to protect the basket. When you guys have them four across like that, just back yourselves up. Don't get caught in that little uh, situation where you can back door on a quick step there. And with, with Rotherham's speed, uh, he can get to the basket pretty quickly. Notre Dame, number 24, Trent Vanden Heuvel. Vanden back in, and uh, checking out is uh, Elliot Clement. Schwartz says, give me that rebound. Really? Pitch. Shot rolled off, and then it was tapped out of bounds. Matt Mertz... Uh, Maybe in that case it was good he couldn't jump quite so high. <laughs> the Notre Dame guy tapped it out of bounds. Mertz, shot is no good. Beeble on a release. And Mertz got back to knock it out of bounds, but they're going to say he got him on the arm. So he's going to pick up the foul, but good hustle by Mertz. Foul's number 35, Matt Mertz. First Pat Beeble will be on the line shooting a pair. It's 42 to 40, Notre Dame on top. 4-11 remaining in the third quarter. Well, they're back at it, Chris. Nine in the first quarter, six in the second quarter. One, two, three, four, five. Five on this free throw attempt already in the third quarter. Tell you what, anything down here, you better give him a blow. Anything close. Bang it inside there. I think the officials owe you one. Patience. Notre Dame all of a sudden extending that defense a little bit. Lancer walks. And for South, number 23, Chris Hempsey. Emsing is going to give uh, Jake Biederwolf a blow. Uh, 
Uh, McHugh, big guy, the center, bringing it up the court. Rare kind of athlete, huh, Chris? Rotherham from 15. Kissing off the glass is no good. Tyson Pitch with a nice rebound. Pulling it away from uh, Max McHugh. South down four. Having a little trouble with this uh, Notre Dame zone defense. Oh, now Actually, they... it's a man-to-man -man now. Yep. Pitch. Shot is no good. McHugh with the rebound. Tyson just can't get on track. He's just 2 of 10 from the floor. Notre Dame showing good patience now that they have the lead. McHugh calmly backs it outside the line and nails a three. That is one nice player, Chris. Yep, and he's just a junior. Pitch. Thought he got away with a walk, but he nails a jump shot. He has eight. And a 30-second timeout called by South. Timeout. South. Full timeout. 30-second timeout. 30-second You know, we've seen this in the past, Chris, and Casey Zakowski is part of that, you know, that, that Dick Bennett influence from Green Bay where they tend to slow it down. But I'll tell you, their half-court offense this half has uh, really been effective. Well, I like the fact that they change it up. It's completely two different things to look at. You don't see it in the first half. You come out in the second half, and... I'll tell you what, they got a lot of guys open too off Three, screens and four. different things and backdoor Six, cuts and, you know, seven, there's, three, they're not four. even seeing all of them. I and was going to say the same thing. I thought a couple guys were open on back cuts and they missed them. The end of the third quarter by the three-point, where, where the three-point well, club table The was. other thing is, you know, you mentioned it, you know, South doesn't get the ball inside very often. They are really depending on their three-point shooting. If they start to get hot, they'll be okay. Well, Reuter back in the game, Schwartz back in the game, Wilson back in the game, which I think is a good decision. You can't let it get away. You can't worry about their fouls. doesn't do you any good to put your guy, have your guys sit on the bench as you fall farther and farther down. There's another backdoor cut. Good block by Hemsing, and Reuter comes away with it. Hempsink breaking high off the screen. His shot is no good. He's knocked down, but no call. Ball loose on the floor. And Notre Dame comes away with it. And they set up the offense. Two minutes in the third quarter. Back cut. Beeble. But a whistle before. You're right, Chris. Boy, those guys break open. Balls on Jake Schwartz. Jake His third. third That's the fifth team fall on South in the quarter in this half. McHugh from outside the line. Another three pointer. Guys, five. 18 points. Five for seven from the floor. Peterwolf, a catch and shoot. No good. But Hemsing comes away with the long rebound. Hempsing, nice pass to Nick Wilson for an easy two. 50 to 44, Notre Dame on top. Wilson, and then we get a foul on McHugh. Now, he's really played a fine ball game in terms of his fouling because he picked up too early in the first quarter, That's now we're uh, with a minute 10 left in the third, he finally picks up his third foul. Number 15, Tyson finally, yeah, really. Anything to get him off the floor. Good hustle by Nick Wilson there, you see him taking a seat on the south high bench. Whew. And McHugh, he's tough. 18 points already and uh, he just, uh, solid. Pitch open from Outside the line again, he can't get it, but Andy Lancer with a rebound and a putback, and he's fouled. Fifty to forty-six. The Q comes out of the game right away. An offensive rebound for South. 
And they're right back in if he can bang this one in here. Matt Meyer, number 15, committing the foul for Notre Dame. Andy, sweet. South down three, under a minute remaining in the quarter. Beeble gets it in to Mueller, spin move, puts it up and in. Nice move by David Mueller. He has five points in the game, four in the quarter, Chris. Good defense down there. I was surprised he could get it through all those uh, hands, but uh, did a nice job to sneak that one in there, Mueller did. Under 30 seconds remaining. Outside the line. Tyson not able to get it. Andy Lancer's put back off the glass is no good. Good move by Traveled. Pitch. He backed into the defender trying to draw the foul, but as he did that, he dragged the foot. Good call. Tough call, but a good call. Pat Pankratz on that uh, correct call. Good thought by Tyson. Just got to keep the feet steady. Yep. Charge not called by Rotherham. And that's the end of the quarter. At the end of three quarters of play, Notre Dame up by five points, 52 to 47. The Bengal Steiner and the 50 victory raffle, 6 5 7. in creative ways. But the quick fix isn't always the best, especially when it comes to your health. Crooked teeth or misaligned jaws could be signs of orthodontic trouble. Quick cosmetic fixes rather than orthodontic treatment may not be the best solution. Teeth that work better look better. And orthodontists improve the look of the mouth by improving tooth alignment and function. Appearance is important, but it's not everything. For a healthy smile, visit an orthodontist. Low fat cheese sandwiches on whole wheat bread. Chewy and good for you. Snacks high in calcium help build strong bones. And foods rich in fiber are good for your heart. So you have the power to dominate. Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. See those fans up there on the left-hand side of your screen before we panned in? Those are all South High students. When I walk by after talking to the officials, Chris, they're all yelling at me. And I think they were cheering because they didn't throw any tomatoes or anything. So I just want to thank those fans for the recognition. And uh, good job by those kids cheering on their uh, team here tonight. Hopefully uh, South can come away with a win. They're down by five right now. Well, that was very nice to Tyler Velkamp too, uh, in the paper the other night. I saw there after the Christian game or Lutheran game that he said, get excited about these big games, you know, rivalry against Lutheran, and the TV is there, TV8's there, so thanks to him for giving us some pub too. Very nice young man, and he's had a oh, very nice career. South on a simple exchange, stole it away at Tyson Pitch, gliding through the lane, put it up and in. Well, they're just down three. One three-point basket away. With a minute and a half left. Manitowoc 79, Sheboygan North 68. How much time left? Minute and a half. McHugh, no good. He finally missed one. Ball is knocked out of bounds by Tyson Pitch. For Notre Dame, number 20, Kevin Rutherham. Boy, McHugh hasn't missed many from outside the line, Chris. Inside feed to Mueller. Skips a pass over to Beeble. And Nick Wilson knocks it out of bounds. Good hustle by South. They're playing tough defense now. A little lackadaisical, I thought, in that third quarter. I just thought they struggled trying to figure out what they were doing. Rotherham cut off at the baseline by Tyson Pitch. Good defense. Wilson going for the steal. Beeble way outside the line. No good. Reuter had it knocked away from him. Actually had a little bit of a kick, and then it goes off a Notre Dame player, David Mueller. Boy, and they square off and have words. Now Kevin Rotherham talking to uh, Tim Schultz.
Referee Bob Delzer settling things down. Good job by him. Pitch, they let him shoot. And he does, but he can't get it in. He's having a tough night, Chris. Yep. That's an uh, understatement. Well, you know my theory on that. Keep shooting. Charge by Beeble. Went hard right down 8th Street, but uh, ran into Bill's Cafe. <laughs> Committed the foul. Yeah, he's 4 for 15 from the floor, Marty. By the way, when are you going to make it to Bill's Cafe about 6 in the morning on a Friday? Shit. We've been waiting for you. Reuter from outside. Oh. In and out. Wilson, rebound. Got it. 52-51, Notre Dame up by one. Pitch, trying to knock it away. Double team by Hempsing. South has it. Good patience one shown time. by Tyson. Pitch! Chris Hempsing, what a three-pointer. South on top, 54-52. Another guy struggling from the floor. Hempsing, he gets one down. I'll tell you, Tyson Pitch did a great job of being very patient and finding the open shooter. It's a full timeout carry with 6.16 remaining in the ball game. South up, 54-52. For research indicates that when a parent takes a more active role in their child's quest for education, that child will be bestowed with higher grades and higher sense of being. Just a wee bit of time out of your meeting schedule is all it takes to show your allegiance. Hear what your kids are saying. Get more involved. Join your local PTA. Back at the Acuity Fieldhouse at South High School, there you see uh, Tim Schultz talking to the troops. Notre Dame has not scored a point here in the fourth quarter. There you see those South High fans I was talking about earlier. I want to thank them for... Uh, I don't know if they're cheering or booing, Chris, but uh, they didn't throw anything, so we'll call it cheers. And uh, they're doing a good job of cheering on their ball club tonight. And like I said before, hopefully South can pull out a win. They've come from uh, five back in the fourth quarter to take the lead, scoring uh, seven unanswered. Wow. We got a barn burner. I'll tell you what I think the difference is. South has turned up the defense a lot here in the fourth quarter. They yeah, didn't they, play very good in the third. Yeah, they got two quick turnovers here in the quarter. That helps. This guy here has got a shot. As a matter of fact, uh, they don't even have a sh Well, they got one shot total in the quarter. That was, I think, Mueller missed that one. Yeah. Beeble looking for McHugh. Wilson on him. Back to there is a good help by Wilson that time on the back cut by Clement. Mueller shot off the glass. Rolls in. <laughs> Didn't want to go down, but it did. Hoping. Hoping. I was trying to get some wind blowing that way, but it just unfortunately fell in. Oh, Hempsing with a nice catch. Wilson, Wilson, Wilson for two. Three for three and a half. Nick Wilson with eight points in the ball game. 5.20 remaining in the ball game. South up two, 56-54. McHugh on a runner, got it up and in. Got to force him out, he got a little too far inside. Tempted that shot from inside the free throw line. Oh, pardon me, inside the lane. Beaterwolf. His shot is off. Wilson with the rebound and the putback. Nick Wilson. He's a terror here in the third, fourth quarter with six points. Well, it's a good decision, too. McHugh does not want to pick up his fourth foul, so you got to go right at him. He's going to try to stand straight up. So good job of Nick Wilson attacking that uh, situation. And hopefully, you know, your coaches tell you that. McHugh, he doesn't want to pick up that. Oh, oh. Mueller wide open underneath, but he's fouled by uh, Reuter to prevent the easy basket. But again, a back cut by... Notre Dame nets them a wide open player and that's the fourth foul on Kyle Reuter. They're four for five in the second half at the free throw line. This will be their first attempts in the quarter. Is 
Stop number 41, Jake Schwartz. Mueller looking for point number nine. He got it. With 4.25 remaining in the ball game, score is tied at 58. Pitch had the opening but didn't take the shot. Hempsing, quick release on the catch, can't get it in. McHugh comes away with it. Rotherham with a nice save, but then he dragged the foot as he tried to pivot around. Good call. Four minutes and counting left in the ball game. We're all tied. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you the ball game. Wolf inside the line on a catch and shoot. His first two point basket, he has 11 in the ball game. Four of eight from the floor. First basket in the second half for him. Beeble being guarded by Wolf. Another good job of helping out on the back cut. The cue, shot is no good, but he traveled. Oh boy. I didn't see that, Chris, but uh, we'll take it. That's a bad call. South up two, and they have the ball. 325 remaining in the ball game. Wilson outside to Beaterwolf. Pitch, catch and shoot from 15, no good. Be on and Wilson. And I think they're going to give the ball to South. No, and I call it on Nick. You're right. Four, Four guys go for it, and they blow the whistle. And Brian Andrews on the floor camera. Steve Reiner on the top camera being assisted by uh, Eric Wiesman. Kerry Coutts are spinning the dials in the truck. We have a full timeout, Kerry. Why don't we go for a 30-second break and bring her right back. Tick, tick, Back at South High's Acuity Fieldhouse, there you see those uh, cheerleaders that put on that uh, really fantastic uh, show at halftime, along with the dance team. They'll be in competition tomorrow. I'll tell you, my heart always skips a beat when they throw those cheerleaders up in the air. Oy, oy, oy. McHugh will be at the line shooting the bonus. South has seven team falls, Notre Dame only four. So far in the fourth quarter, Notre Dame is uh, two for two from the line. McHugh will be shooting his first free throws or free throw of the quarter. They have shot a lot of free throws, Marty. Six for seven for McHugh so far in the ball game. He ties it up at 60. Pitch open for a little bit, but Beeble got over there and covered him up. Wilson tried to get it, but uh, Mueller is going to pick up the foul on the reach in. Got to spread the floor, Marty. They're all in one corner here. You got to reverse that. Well, the other thing is, Pitch got it on the wing. He didn't have anybody to throw it to out. Everybody had been either gone down in the corner or down on the opposite side. A little ball reversal creates some opening, some space. Notre Dame going to go back in that zone. Can Pitch get open. One? Can't get it. Nick Wilson pull it away from Miller. But he can't get the put back. And Notre Dame has it. Whoa. Beeble on the break. I think he might have mis mistook either a couple of fans walking down the sideline or the official. But he uh, missed his teammate by a lot. <laughs> Wasn't even close. 
Tie ball game, 2.35 remaining. Tyson just struggling tonight. Got to get one. Nick Wilson, I don't think that was a good shot for Nick. Wow. Well, he's been hot. Falls on McHugh. No. No, falls on Clement. His first. South keeps the ball. Inside feed, but stolen away by Clement. 2.20 remaining. Tied up at 60. Looking to set up that uh, four high offense. Looking for back cutters. McHugh open from outside the line. Got it in. Got to cover that man up. You can't leave him open out boy, there. Boy, oh boy. I knew right when he was stepped back, nobody got out there. And that's just, you got to know who that is. Tyson Pitch had an opening but didn't shoot it. You got to wonder how that uh, all those misses are playing on his psyche now. Come on, Tyson. He rolls it in. Tyson Pitch ties up the ball game at 63 with 135 remaining. Just 5 of 18 from the floor, but no time to, than right now in the present to get one down. That one even looked good. I thought that one was going to get in there. Bad turnover. Got to get it, Nick. Nick had the ball slapped away. Good defense by McHugh. And Notre Dame has it. And they've got a two-on-two. Two. Mueller brings it back out. Smart play by him. Rotherham looking inside. Now we get a timeout. A 30-second timeout by Notre Dame with 1.07 remaining. Uh, that's a lot of time to try and run it down for one. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to set up some kind of a backdoor cutting play. Well, McHugh or Rotherham's going to be drive penetrating or something, but I agree with you, Marty. I think in a minute is an awful long time for any team to hold the ball. And uh, South's got good quickness. Well, we could have really used the basket when... Uh, Nick was able to track down that errant pass. There you see some of the smaller fans here tonight. Say this, Notre Dame had four turnovers. Four turnovers in the uh, first three quarters. They got six turnovers here in the fourth. So they are, like you say, it's gonna be difficult to run this one down. And that's a good thing. Look at how Notre Dame's getting pushed farther and farther away from the basket. Nick Wilson got away with a hack there. Q was able to pick it up, and then he steps outside the line and nails another three. Oh, man. 28 points. Holy cow. 45 seconds and counting. You don't need a three, but you got to be a little bit quicker. Make some uh, moves towards the basket. Tyson wanted to shoot it, but backed it out. Now off the dribble, he shoots the three. Can't get it in. Notre Dame gets the rebound. And Biederwolf stopping the clock with a quick foul with 22.8 seconds remaining. I'll tell you, McHugh's got ice water in his veins. And he's only a junior, like you said. And he just sits back there, and he's just calm and... Goes in there and it's just a smooth, smooth shot. And it's not even to the right or the left of the rim. It's right there. I think he likes that spot at the top of the key. That free throw by Bebo gives Notre Dame a four-point lead with only 22.8 seconds remaining. He's six for seven in the, in the half, Marty. Eight for 11 in a game. Pitch going hard, puts it in. Quick timeout by South, they're down two with 21 seconds even remaining. It's a full timeout by South with 21 seconds remaining. Notre Dame still leads 67 to 65. Let's play a game. Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? 
What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. Last play. And uh, that might be it. Because uh, what was it, like 22.3 or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> and we're down to 21? Hey. Pitch is quick, but I don't know if he's that quick. Cost uh, Clemson Tigers a loss the other day in ACC. Three-pointer went in for Clemson to tie it. 2.4 on the clock. You know, clock went Was ran. Was that the Notre Dame game? No, no I Duke. mean uh, Duke game. Yeah, next thing you know, it's 4.4. And right at the buzzer, they got a basket in. So uh, the good thing is that... Uh, Still single bonus for Notre Dame. Right. Good point. Is that a double bonus? And a pitch reaching in on Rotherham. Follows him. He's missed a, he's missed a few as in one tonight. <laughs> he's five for six. But it is still, you know, even if he, well, if he makes two, it's a four-point game. And when you get down to this point in the game, you don't have much of a choice. No. What you do is take him out of it and uh, make somebody else do it. Like right, people. try to have somebody else catch the ball. Oh, he didn't look good on it either. Did not look good on that release. But he made the free throw anyway. This will be the ninth free throw attempt in the quarter by Notre Dame. A lot of rim on both those free throws. And we get a 30-second timeout by Notre Dame. Good timeout by Notre Dame. Let's set up our defense. If I'm Sheboygan Dame. South, I'm trying to get the first available shot, and I want it to be quick. If anything, maybe get it to the basket as quickly as possible. Take two, and then, of course, uh, call timeout, and then uh, go for that foul situation. I'll tell you, McHugh just turned this game around. Uh, especially with the second three-pointer. Salt was able to come back after the third with the Tyson pitch three to tie it at 63, but then when McHugh hit that later three, uh, Salt just not able to recover from that. Well, I know I mentioned before, Marty, 8 of 11 from the floor. And what, 5 of 6 from three-point line? And he's six foot five. Got to be quick here, boys. No time to be waiting. There's your... Emsing had a look, but didn't shoot it. Peterwolf under pressure. Can't get it in. Schwartz oh, with the rebound. Can't get it. And then we get a jump ball. Hitting the deck hard was Jake Schwartz. And uh, you called it, Chris. It looked like on the rebound putback, he got fouled. No call. Possession arrow points towards south. And Pat Pankratz is going to get a foul call instead of a jump ball. That was bad. Well, it wasn't necessarily the last call, the foul call. It was the non-call when uh, Jake put the ball up. That was the one that was uh, crucial. Yeah. Mueller will be at the line. He'll shoot a pair now. It's South has 10 fouls in the half, so it's a double bonus. Only 5.4 seconds remaining. Notre Dame is going to escape with a win. And uh, if North lost their game tonight, they were losing the whole while up in Manitowoc. Notre Dame will be in second place. Only one game out of first place. Peter Wolf on a lean-in throw. No good. Shorts put back at the horn is good. But Notre Dame comes away with a big 71-67 victory over South in what was a very entertaining and hard-fought game. If we can ask you to exit... Drivers face all kinds of distractions. Before your wireless phone becomes one of them, stop. 
Drive safely. Keep your phone in easy reach and dial sensibly. In bad weather or traffic, call later and use a hands-free device. Remember, with wireless, safety is your call. Once they've outgrown their toddler seat, they're still not ready for adult safety belts alone. Four foot nine is the magic number. Until then, kids need a booster seat. Make sure your little pumpkin gets there safely. Visit BoosterSeat.gov. Fruit. What a tasty treat. Fruits packed with potassium and other nutrients can help keep your heart pumping strong during the game. And they give you energy back so you can take on the next activity. Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. Foundation. Back at South High School where Notre Dame has escaped with a 71-67 victory over the Red Wings. Uh, Chris, it uh, seemed like South always had a chance until the very end when McHugh hit those two three-pointers. Well, two different situations here. First of all, you're right. Uh, McHugh is just on fire from the floor. He mentioned it, 28 points. And, you know, those step-back threes were just killers. On the other hand, for Sheboygan South, they let their guard play. You know, Notre Dame decided to let them take their outside game, shoot their game. I got, you know, I got Beaterwolf 4 for 10. I got Pitch is 6 for tw uh, 20. Uh, Hemsing is 2 for 12. They couldn't hit their outside shots. They're big guys, on the other hand. You had Wilson 5 for 9. Uh, Schwartz uh, 5 for 8. And Lancer 3 for 5. So they did a lot of that at cleaning up on the boards. But the outside game wasn't going for South. And... As we mentioned before, when the south outside game is going, they're, they're pretty tough. But tonight it just wasn't meant to be on the outside. Another thing I thought Notre Dame did a nice job was getting to the basket and getting to the free throw line, which I'm sure you'll mention shortly. They were 9 for 10 in the fourth quarter on their free throws. And with those 10 and the 5, that was 15. They had 30 free throws on the Ooh. night, Chris. And uh, they didn't make many in the third quarter, but uh, they real, or in the second quarter, I should say. But they nailed them down the stretch when it really counted. They were led by McHugh, who had 28 points. Rotherham had 15. And the other guy in double figures was Dave Mueller with uh, 11. South had uh, good balance in their scoring, Chris. They just couldn't nail the three. And uh, when you depend on the three, uh, you know, you're going to die by it. They were led by Tyson Pitch with 15. Jake Schwarz and Jake Biederwolf each had 11. Uh, Nick Wilson had 10. He did a great job in that fourth quarter getting six uh, putback baskets that were really huge. Lancer had eight. Chris Hemsing had uh, seven. And uh, Kyle Reuter, playing a nice game, uh, had uh, five points. But in the end, it turned out to be a 71-67 to loss. Uh, Notre Dame uh, jumps up in the conference, stand or stays at second place, but they moved to within a game of North. Most likely, with a 6-3 and three conference record, South drops to 4-5. and five. Our next ball game is going to be at Lakeland on Wednesday when Concordia of Illinois comes in to play uh, the Lady Muskies. And then on Saturday, we'll be right, be right back here for the North-South game. That'll be live. That'll be live, so uh, stay tuned for that ball game. For the crew, Kerry Coutzer in the truck spinning the dials. Brian Andrews on the floor camera. Eric Wiesman behind that camera being assisted by uh, Steve Reiner. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.